Hi, I'm T.H. Cohane for Solar City Solutions and Envisage Mercy, the Environmental Sustainability and Justice Club of Mercy College. Shivani Mystery is behind the camera, and we are working on a dual fee circuit for the model of our solar powered shed. And first, we'll test to make sure that it goes on, and then we'll explain the circuit to you. So I'm going to connect the battery here, and there it is, the light is gone. And we're going to be running this off of a solar panel that's on top of the shed. The circuit is a jewel thief circuit, and that enables us to use sources of about one to one and a half volts to light a three volt LED, so that when we actually mount this solar panel on the roof of the shed, then we can light that LED because each of these panels or these panel fragments is a half a volt in full sunlight, so you'd have 0.5, 1, and 1.5. So you'd have the equivalent of this 1.5 volt battery. And it varies um, with the brightness, obviously, of the sun, but it doesn't drop much below 0.9, and that should be enough to drive the Joule Thief circuit and light the 3 volt LED. So the way that the circuit is built is you have a ferrite core. Let me show you a ferrite core so you can see, or otherwise known as a bead. This is the crucial part, and they don't sell them at Radio Shack. You have to order them online these days. Uh, but that ferrite bead or ferrite core, sometimes you can find them wrapped around computer cables. They act as, uh, as inductors and provide uh, protection from transients. So you get this, and you wrap it 13 times in double-stranded wire. And once you've got it wrapped, then you take one wire from one side and one from the other. You can see the black wire and the red wire coming from either side of the bead. You can find a lot of tutorials on this on uh, YouTube. And those combined together go to the positive terminal of the battery. So that's one side of the torus. The other side of the torus has, again, a black wire and a red wire sticking out of either side. The black wire goes to the one kilo ohm resistor, which goes to the base of an NPN transistor. This one is, you can't really see it, but it's a 2N3904. That's a 2N3904, and that is where the one kilo ohm resistor goes to the base of that transistor. Then the other side of the torus, See, these two are bound together, the ones that went to the positive lead of the battery. The other side of this, the red wire, goes to the, to the lead of the transistor that is on the right side of the flat surface. Now, I'm not sure on this one if it's an emitter or a collector, and sometimes we get confused with that. Uh, try, if it's not working, to flip the transistor around. In this case, this particular transistor, the flat side facing you, it's the lead that's coming out of the right that goes into the, uh, the red wire of the torus and also connects to the positive lead of the LED. Then on the other side of the transistor, the leftmost one, when the flat side is facing you on this particular model, goes to the negative lead of the LED, while the another wire coming off that same junction goes to the negative terminal of the battery or the solar panel. And that is all there is to a Joule 3 circuit, so it does enable us to run a 3-volt LED with a 1.5-volt battery, or in our case, 1.5 volts of photovoltaic cells that will go on the roof of our green dollhouse. So let's just get a quick review so you can follow the circuit again. Looking from the battery, the positive terminal of the battery is going to the twisted wire pair of the torus that makes up the Joule Thief inductor. On the other side of the Joule Thief inductor, your red and black wire are coming out the black wire is going through a 1 kilo ohm resistor into the base or the middle wire of a uh, transistor. And again, that was the 2N3904 transistor with the flat side facing you. The lead on the right is going to the positive lead of the LED. 
the negative lead of the LED is going to the leftmost part of the transistor with the flat side facing you and then on to the negative terminal of the battery and that'll be true of the solar panel as well. Thanks a lot and we hope that you uh, build things like this too.